Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Clare College of Engineering, Trichy. This is the another video lecture on the solution and discussion in the gate question paper in the subject fluid mechanics and machines. So this is lecture number 61. Uh, the topic for today's lecture is turbulent flow part 2. In the earlier lecture also, we solved a few problems in the turbulent flow in the subject fluid mechanics and we take few more examples here. The first example from 2009 question paper, water at 25 degrees Celsius is flowing through a 1 kilometer long GI pipe of 200 millimeter diameter at the rate of 0 0.07 meter cube per second. If the value of Darcy friction factor for this pipe is 0 0.02, and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. The pumping power required to maintain the flow is, we have four options here. So we have to identify the correct answer. So the correct answer is 17.4 kilowatt. The pumping power required is 17.4 kilowatt for the given situation. We'll see how in the next slide. So length of the pipe, one kilometer, which is 1000 meter. Diameter of the pipe, 200 millimeter, 0 0.2 meter. Flow rate Q equal to 0 0.07 meter cube per second and density of water rho equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube and Darcy's friction factor F equal to 0 0.02. So area of the pipe, cross sectional area of the pipe A equal to pi by 4 d square, so which is pi by 4 into 0 0.2 square equal to 0 0.0314 meter square. The velocity of the flow in the pipeline, velocity of water flow in the pipeline V equal to Q by A. This side divided by the cross sectional area 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.0314 equal to 2.23 meters per second. Head loss due to friction for the entire length of the pipe HF equal to FL V square pi by 2 GD, which is 0 0.02 into 1000 into 2.23 square divided by 2 into 9.82 into 0 0.2, which is 25.35 meter. So the pumping power equal to rho. G Q into H F. Rho is the density of the water. G is the acceleration due to gravity. Q is the discharge flow rate, volume flow rate, and uh, uh, this uh, H F is the friction factor. He head loss due to friction. So thousand into nine point eight one into zero point zero seven into twenty five point three five equal to seventeen point four kilowatt. That is the answer to the question. The next question from two thousand sixteen question paper. In a fully developed turbulent flow through a circular pipe, a head loss of H1 is observed. The diameter of the pipe is increased by 10 percentage for the same flow rate and the head loss and the head loss of H2 is noted. Assume friction factor for both the cases of the flow is the same. The ratio of H2 by H1 is close to, we have four options. So, the diameter of the pipe is increased by 10 percentage. So, all the other parameters are constant. We have to find out the, the ratio of the head loss H2 by H1. So, the correct option is 0 0.62. H2 by H1 equal to 0 0.62. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, head loss in a turbulent flow HF equal to 8 of L Q square by pi square G into 2 to the power 5. So, uh, substituting for pi square and g, it will be 0 0.083 fl q square by d to the power 5. Now, hf is proportional to in terms of diameter because the variable is only diameter. In terms of diameter, it is square root, it is proportional to 1 by d to the power 5. All the other parameters are considered as constant. So, d2, what is the change now? Diameter d2 equal to 1.1 1 .1 times of diameter d1, 10 percent increase. So, H2 by H1 equal to D1 to the power 5 divided by D2 to the power 5, which is D1 to the power 5 divided by 1.1 .1 to the power 5 into D1 to the power 5, this equal to 0 0.62. The answer is H2 by H1 equal to 0 0.62. That is the answer to the problem. The next question from 2017 question paper, consider steady flow of incompressible fluid through two long and straight pipe of diameter D1 and D2 arranged in series. Both pipes are equal length and the flow is turbulent in both the pipes. The friction factor for the turbulent flow is of the form F equal to K into Reynolds number to the power minus N. So, K is a constant, N is also a constant. 
So, where K and N are known as positive constant and the RE is a Reynolds number. Neglecting minor losses, the ratio of frictional pressure drop in the pipe 1, that of pipe 2, delta P1 divided by delta P2 is given by. So, we have to calculate, we have given K in terms of Reynolds number, we have to find out delta P1 by delta P2, we have four options here. The correct option is option number 5. So, delta P1 by delta P2 equal to D2 by D1 to the power 5 minus N. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, pressure drop in the turbulent flow, delta P equal to rho G into HF. So, rho G into FLV square by 2 GD. So, HF equal to FLV square by 2 GD. So, simplifying, this will be rho F L V square by 2 times of diameter. For constant value of L and rho, so delta P is proportional to F V square by D. So, velocity of the flow V equal to Q by A, which is proportional to Q by D square. Then the friction factor is given by F equal to K into Reynolds number to the power minus N. So, F equal to K into rho V D divided by mu to the power minus N. So, where V is pipe, uh, V velocity equal to discharge by the area. So, substituting Q discharge diameter divided by pi by 4 d square is the cross sectional area into mu. So, everything is constant excepting discharge and the diameter. So, the F is proportional to Q by D to the power minus N. Now, substituting V and F value, the pressure drop becomes delta P equal to V F V square by D, which is equal to Q by D whole to the power minus N into Q by D square to the power 2 divided by D. So, simplifying, it is Q to the power 2 minus N divided by D to the power 5 minus N. Then delta P1 by delta P2. So, substituting Q to the power 2 minus N divided by D1 to the power 5 minus N into D to the power 5 minus N divided by Q to the power 2 minus N. So, that is getting cancelled. So, finally, D2 by D1 to the power 5 to the power 5 minus N. That is the answer to the question. Next question from 1989 question paper, a 400 millimeter long, a 400 meter long horizontal pipe is to deliver 900 kg of oil per minute of specific gravity 0 0.9, kinematic viscosity 0 0.0002 meter square per second. The head loss is not exceed 8 meters of the oil, find the pipe diameter. So, you take friction factor for laminar flow, F equal to 64 by Reynolds number. So, the answer from the continuity equation, m equal to rho into q. So, specific gravity into density of water into q. So, mass flow rate equal to 900 by 60, 900 kilogram per minute. So, 900 by 60 equal to 0 0.9 into 1000 into q. So, discharge equal to 0 0.0167 meter cube per second. Then, discharge equal to area into velocity. So, substituting 0 0.0167 equal to pi by 5 d square into v. So, d square into V equal to 0 0.02122. You take, this is equation number 1. Then, Reynolds number equal to velocity diameter divided by the kinematic viscosity. So, velocity diameter divided by kinematic viscosity is given in the problem 0 0.0002, which is 5000 into velocity into diameter. So, friction factor equal to 64 by Reynolds number. So, 64 divided by 5000 into Vd, which is 0 0.0128 into V time divided by V, time, v into D. So, frictional head loss in the pipe flow HF equal to FL V square by 2 GD. So, the HF is given as 8 meter. So, F equal to 0 0.0128 divided by V into D into 400 L equal to 400 V square divided by 2 into 9.81 into D. So, simplify this equation, it is 0 0.261 V divided by D square. So, V by D square equal to 30.656. This is equation number 2. Now, solving the equation 1 and 2, we will get diameter D equal to 0 0.162, which is 162 millimeter. And this is the answer to the problem. So, diameter equal to 0 0.162 millimeter. So, answer to the problem. So, these are all the books I have written mechanical in subject. Uh, there is one book, Fluid Mechanics. If you want further information on the fluid mechanics, you can read the book. So, you can refer to me the YouTube channel where you find video lectures for all the subjects. You can listen and learn better in mechanical engineering. 
So thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. We meet again in another video lecture. Until then, bye.